Hello, hola, I'm Bonjour everybody. It's Matthew from Crow Bros Bodybuilding MB3. We're checking in on an update on my powerlifting status, what my lifts are, how I've been doing after about week one. I guess technically it's been about two weeks, but I was sick last week. Took most of the week off. So um, last week I showed you my 5x5 five five schedule, explained how it was gonna work, and showed you what my maxes were of the five sets of five at the time being, what I thought they were going to be. So before, you had an overhead press of 115 pounds, a bench of 210 pounds, a deadlift of 335 pounds, and a squat of 295 pounds. Now, after a week's gone by, um, and you can also see how I didn't leave enough rest time between my previous maxes and going from them again. So this is my updated um, maxes, I guess, for after week a uh, one week of the 5x5 five five program. So overhead press, 115 pounds, boom, met the goal. My goal is to meet or exceed these. And I met it, 115 pounds for five sets of five. So Next week, I'm, my goal might be 120 pounds, just raise it up 5 pounds. Easy increments, they don't seem like much, but after a few weeks, it's like, oh, I've gone up 10 pounds. I've actually raised it 15 pounds. It adds up. Um, then bench press, 210 pounds. I actually went for 215 pounds, but with a lack of spotter, I didn't quite get all my reps. I got 5-5, five, 4-4-4. Five, four, four, four. So I'm going to... I'm debating keeping it at 215 pounds and doing it again, or lowering to 210 pounds. We'll see how I feel. I think I'm going to stick with 215 to try and blast the plateau. And the deadlift, 335 pounds, that went really well. I was really into it. The first three sets, I did beltless and strapless. Then the fourth set, I added a belt. And then the fifth set, I added straps. So this new method of deadlifting I have, which is just like everyone else, instead of really keeping it the whole time. I kind of raise up and bring it to my knees and then almost drop the weight. And resetting that allows my grip to re-grip so I don't have, um, so it doesn't fall out of my fingers after the second rep like it used to. Um, so I met that goal. I'm going to raise it up to 345 pounds next time I deadlift. Um, and then squat 295 pounds. That was a little tough. Again with no spotter. So I did Five, five, four, four, three. I think with the squat at two ninety five pounds. So that's a little uh, disappointing. I guess again the same thing with the bench. I don't know if I want to decrease the weight to maybe two eighty five and try to get the five sets of five, or if I want to try for two ninety five again. But man, hitting that plateau and failing twice the same weight, you're gonna want to lower the weight down so you can actually hit your goal. Just for not only because of hitting it, but because of motivation, like mental, like if you are not hitting your weight two weeks in a row, maybe even three, your motivation goes down, you're like depressed, not depressed, but like you just feel really down about the whole workout then. So anyway, that's my update on the quick five sets of five, don't want to hold you too long. Uh, make sure to stick with the journey of my uh, powerlifting, and also check out Doug's side of the playlist to check out his um, cutting for the 2014 NPC Natural Ohio coming up in the very end of March. So he's got some good content over there. Make sure to check it out. And hope you guys like the video. Speaking of that, you can go ahead and like the video, throw down a comment, and even subscribe. So remember, there's always more on the way. So stay tuned. So the main thing, and I don't know if you guys can tell, but my diet is actually working pretty well, especially if I'm only doing it for a few weeks. I'm already getting leaner. And a huge key to that is staying full. Now, that's why.